John Kavokas with another edition of my take. And I got something I'm excited to show you. I've been waiting for a while to put this together. Uh, but you know, I went down to Nashville back in November and visited Toy Car Geek. Did an interview with Dave Gilbert. You can see the interview uh, on the channel here. But while I was there, <laughs> something caught my eye. And I had promised myself I wouldn't get into this, but I just had to have one. This is a fire replicas model of a fire engine. Uh, now, these are absolutely incredible. This is the replica of this in the box here is uh, the Fire Department of New York City, Manhattan engine number 33. Uh, this is a Seagrave Attacker HD pumper. Uh, Fire Replicas describes it as a multi-grade replica of the Bowery Boys of Manhattan engine number 33. Um, this model is typical of what Fire Replicas does. There's over 500 pieces in here. They only make 75 units of each one. They come in a scale of 1 50th. Uh, the box is huge, but there's a good reason for that, and I'll explain it in just a second. Uh, they describe them as a multi-material, including high-definition resin, photo-etched stainless steel plates, um, metal, wire, rubber, and a series of other composites that, that are just going to amaze you. Uh, so they come in a high-quality custom display case. Uh, with a steel etched nameplate on it. And Fire Replicas has a great website. Um, you can see all of their offerings there. Uh, one of them I just want to show you for just a second. Because this is really an amazing model. This is a, they have a model of the Fire Department City of New York Ladder 343, citywide they call it. Okay. Now, this is a ladder truck. It has the names of the 343 New York City firefighters who sacrificed their lives on 9-11, and it is absolutely, incredibly detailed. And I got a shot while I was down there in Nashville of the names on the side. Remember, this is 1 50th scale. Uh, so the website has the details on all the models that are available. Uh, they even have a really neat little section for each model that shows you how it was put together. So it's worth spending some time there. But right now I want to take a look at our 2009 Seagrave. Now this is the box. It is, uh, the best way I can describe this is just formidable. It's a large box. It's got uh, an uh, incredible amount of padding to it. Um, you open it up, uh, there's foam, making sure everything stays in place. The model sits down in the middle of it and comes out just like this. If you do it right, <laughs> yes, yes. I've had to learn to be careful with this because uh, this is this is just an incredibly detailed model, and I want to I want to treat it with a lot of respect. So here's the model. There's the casing. Casing's absolutely incredible, but it's the model that is the star of the show here. So let me get it on the turntable and let's take a look at it. So here we are. It's an incredible model if you just step back and take the big picture, but it's the close-ups that really begin to show the detail. Look at all the plumbing and the fittings and uh, all of the signage and little steps and the, the stainless steel. Uh, again, you back up and it, it looks incredible, uh, but you zero in. Look at that front end. Those are multiple lens lights there. Uh, little things like the mirrors and the windshield wipers, the tools on the front, the plumbing in the front there. Uh, going over the side here, uh, you zero in on that and you know that plaque on the side, if you get a magnifying glass you can read the letters on the black and uh, the hyper realism of the doors and the badging and, and uh, uh, the, the little details that just stand out, all of the valves and the, the gauges, the, the pipes on the side, the, the hoses folded up on the sides and the yeah, you go around towards the back and you see it, this is just hyper realistic. A little bit of bucket, the canister, the lenses on the lights, uh, all of the accoutrements on there. Um, it's it's an adventure just going through this. There's the water cannon and some of the some of the apparatus that they need to, to, to carry to the fires are right there on top. And and, and again, uh, if you take a look at this lensing and the lights and everything. Uh, even a little belt and the siren on the top. This is just an amazing model. I'll tell you, I've had it for uh, a couple of months now, and it's one of those models that every time you look at it, you see something new, something exciting, something that just fires you up. And 
you know, for me, there's a lot of pride of ownership uh, in something like this. Uh, obviously, these people take a lot of time and a lot of care uh, putting this minute detail into it. It's a labor of love for them. And the price is actually pretty reasonable when you consider everything that's included. Uh, I love the model, and I think you'd like them too. So there it is. Uh, it, I, I think you'd have to agree. It's just an incredible amount of detail. If you're into miniaturization, uh, this is the great mamma jamma of all of them. They do such a fantastic job. Sells for $329 plus shipping. They're only available online unless you stop in and see Toy Car Geek uh, down in Nashville. He's got a small selection of them there. You can buy directly from him. His agreement with Fire Replicas is he will not ship them. So you got to see him in person. Other than that, you can look at him at uh, Dave's place and then go online and order him. Uh, so uh, I, I'm going to have one, this one, in Chicago for display only. It's not for sale. Uh, it'll be one of the centerpieces of my collection. Uh, but you'll get a chance to see the intricacy of the detail uh, in Chicago if you come to the show for our weekend uh, which we're calling uh, Chicago Shenanigans, starting at, uh, on that Friday uh, in Auburn at the ACD Museum, uh, going to the Automobile and 143rd show on Saturday, and then the Countryside show on Sunday. So this is Fire Replicas Engine 33 Manhattan 2009 Seagrave Attacker HD Pumper. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. Give me a like down there in the right-hand corner. Of course, we'd love to have you subscribe. The, the channel has been growing steadily, and that's because of you and your help with it. Thanks for your comments. I like to answer each one of them personally. If you have something you'd like to add, let me know. I look forward. I've got a couple more videos coming up very soon. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.